all right we're day two into this so let's uh see if this thing will actually start after starting overnight maybe the battery's dead i don't know we'll see today we're gonna get her all washed up so we can actually do some stuff because i hate working on dirty stuff but let's see if she will fire up we got kids See if it's smoking or anything. No smoke. Doesn't smell the greatest, but the plugs in it were terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll get this moved back to over here. I'll get the power washer set up and we'll uh, get to town. I will do another once over once I get everything set up of how really dirty this thing is. Let's take one good look at this before I start washing it. So, a bunch of mold and moss growing there. You can see the bumpers just rusted. Same with the grill. You got algae growing on the side. The wheels, tires are just caked from mud. The wheel wells. We got like actual moss growing up here just same kind of deal everywhere it's really bad here on the window well it's not terrible but mud super dirty through here i mean it's got like a high lift you know look at the tire the roof is equally as bad This side's not too bad. I think this was more not towards or more towards the sun, but it's still pretty dirty. Let me pop the hood. Underside of the hood is pretty bad. And just all around in the engine bay, it's got leaks and stuff. So we're gonna get this all cleaned out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the power wash set up and we'll get into getting this thing somewhat looking decent again. So about an hour later, I'm done. Um, there is a lot of overspray 
I don't know if it's, you can see it, but it was all over the window. So I took some uh, goof off and razor blade and cleaned it up. But it's looking a lot better at the front bumper. Yeah. I don't know. It might be. You can kind of see fender there. Just a ton of overspray. But I'm not going to deal with that. They can deal with that. It's their own problem. But we got all the windows clean. Tire cleaned off, as you can see back here. It's looking about 28% better. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a, eat some lunch. Get the doors open on this, let it air out, and attack kind of cleaning up the inside and then making a plan of what parts I need to order to fix this thing and make it really drivable. It still smells ter terrible in here, but we get that. We'll go ahead and fire it up. We got a smoker on our hands. Clearly has an exhaust leak. It's right down there. foam is doing what it's supposed to do but yeah there's definitely uh, I'd have to say an exhaust leak up here out the entire fucking neighborhood maybe I'll do that tonight so I left off at the seafoam aspect of things getting the truck running hopefully overall health bringing it up so my GoPro battery decided to take a poop and I had to order some so I Went ahead and kept working on things. I wasn't able to film anything. I probably could have with my phone, but it's just a matter of me trying to get stuff done so I can get this damn thing back to uh, my friend. So I'll show you kind of what we got to end up getting done here. All right, so we took out all the AC stuff. They don't use it, it didn't work. Allows a bunch more airflow because these like to overheat. Um, so we, and I ended up cleaning out the radiator, pulled it out, uh, flushed it, cleaned all the vents out, new coolant. Um, and then the exhaust manifold did leak, it had a bunch of cracks. So I got those all welded up. You probably can't really see, and then uh, the TPS actually was the culprit of a lot of the problem. It was actually broken. So I got a new one of those on the way. Um, belts are good. Did throw some plugs in it. And they were not great. Definitely a little lean, it looks like. So we'll check timing and stuff when that... Uh, we get to that point um interior wise though it's like a whole new jeep so i was able to because originally they had a toggle like a just a toggle switch for the lights 
but it only turned on the actual headlights. Well, you know, Jeep and their great wisdom want to put everything through the headlight switch. So that was all melted. Went to the junkyard, got a new switch. Everything's good. But the main problem was, was underneath the dash here, Jeep has a head a relay for the headlight. Well, the relay was stuck open, so it would leave just the headlights on. So that was really annoying. So somebody decided to jimmy rig it and yeah. So we got a new headlight, we got the headlight switch in. Uh let's see. We do have rear seat belts now. See if I can find the door lock. Able to hit the junkyard and got some rear seat belts, so now the kids will be safe. I've checked the diff fluid, the brakes. Uh, I changed the oil. That was pretty gross. Uh, had a shitty Fram filter on it. And then change out the transmission fluid which I have this over here I'm sorry I didn't film any of this but I just didn't have my GoPro so that's the oil we pulled out of it this is how dirty the, I mean the filter's not terribly dirty but as you can see the oil that in it was just absolutely terrible um that's kind of it for that like rundown wise uh, I'm waiting on the TPS and once we get the TPS, we're going to actually go take it for a little test drive around the neighborhood because this doesn't have current registration or anything. Um, I can't think of anything else that's been too hokey. Um, I been would like to find a factory airbox for it eventually. Um, still got my mess from under here. But overall, I'd say it's pretty solid. Um, I would start it, but there's no TPS, so it's probably not going to start. But I did get the power seats to work, too. So, between this being pinched, it had gotten pinched up in between here. But on Jeeps, over over on the driver's side, there's actually a... Let's see if I can get over here and see it. Underneath the seat there, there's actually a uh, a junction that splits the power for the motors to the passer to the driver's side well it's just corroded and one of the power feeds was broken off so that was why we didn't get power to the uh seats and then i was kind of curious why there was just the random red wire hanging which this is actually for the seats so i uh put an inline fuse once i'll get the kick panel on but yeah, there's just a lot of things on this that were like jury rigged or made way worse than it needs to be over a simple relay. Like that's what was wrong with it between the ignition switch and the bad relay was why it wouldn't run. And then the headlights and stuff is just a bad relay, but they rewired the switch for whatever reason. So let's come around with that on that update. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have more, but I don't. I now I have three extra GoPro batteries. For whatever reason, it died, so that's kind of where we're at. So the next video, we'll get it like really cleaned up, and we'll go around the block. And hopefully this Friday, we're gonna take it back to her and enjoy it. They can enjoy it. So let's so end off this one. Um, hope you guys liked a little bit more effort I put into things with the washing and all other fun stuff. But yeah, so I'd like to, again, once to say thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.